hello guys good morning and welcome to today's market analysis okay so i'm going to show you guys my trading results for yesterday and today to show you that we are making progress right here so if you haven't created your boom and crash account do that from the link in the description and also follow our trade signals our trade analysis every morning okay so i'm going to tweet my phone this way sorry for the inconvenience but try to or adjust okay be flexible so you don't complain so i'll go to my trade history and this is for today so far this is for today so far and this is a live account i don't know how i can show that to you but this is a live account you can see derive server okay that's not derive demo so before you to have a demo badge and a real badge but it's no longer that way okay so this is 30 the uh, dollar so far we lose some trade and we win some okay this is a lost trade this is a lost trade a lost trade then we, we won here 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 and also here and that gives us 30 dollars okay let's check the one for yesterday and let's get to our analysis real quick okay i'll go to custom i'll go to date yesterday is 13 and also i'll pick 13 right here to show that i'm checking on the 13 alone i click on done and yesterday we made $53, okay, $53. Yesterday we had some, we lost some trade as well, okay, as healthy as 13, 33, and 5, okay. Then we made some and we have a profit of $53, okay, I think $50 or just about, let me scroll up again. Okay, $53.48, okay, so that's good, that's how effective and how we are winning the market. So let's get to today's analysis, okay. Now let's go back to our landscape mode for an effective view. I like it this way. I like it this way. Okay. I must confess. So I'm going to start from boom 500, then crash 500 to boom 300 and crash 300. Okay. That's how we're going to do it for those of you that do not know. So let's I move to boom 500 right away. Okay. So because I like starting from there. Yeah boom 500 this is it right here okay so this is boom 500 right here i entered this market and i made some loss okay I made some loss in this market so i'm going to explain what's going on in boom 500 for you this is one hour time frame so i'm going to zoom in a bit so that we can see the bigger pictures of things okay so take a look at here so this market is going on a downtrend we check it in one hour time frame the market is going on a serious downtrend okay take from here to this point okay white uh, it pulled out it's have a good downtrend to this point start it pulled up okay so that's a pullback then it went down again and right here this is an area of value an area of value because if you check it all the way back to this place you see a lot of consolidation that happened right here and even to the back so we switch to the back a bit to see these are consolidations that has happened in time past okay right here the market are going up then it find find the resistance level right here okay it's consolidated to a white breaks through it then came back to test the consolidation breaks through it come down and also breaks it and went on uptrend this is boom okay we only take trade boom on downtrend if you are trading it on option, they are trading against the movement mark the market the movement of the market and that's use trading spikes okay and this video is not about spikes trading at all it's not about spikes trading so this is an area of value right here confluence area of value right here okay so we must be sure that the market makes a decision right here if it decides to go down we sell if it decides to go up and you have a sizable capital then you can decide to buy at that point okay very very important you guys should know that so the market is ranging here at that area of value the market has been ranging okay came all the way up here trying to range on here okay so you can try to put a box right here to see what the market is going to do it's very very important now let's view it on four hour time frame and let's see what the four hour time frame has to say so on the four hour time frame you can see i put a kind of box right here because that's a, a, a serious area of value right here the market went on uptrend find a resistance around here okay a resistance around this level then the market took a downtrend okay and find a support around this level okay so this is a support right here because this is boom 
the support is up because the normal movement of the market is downward find the support around here then a resistance around here then it went up again went up to this level and consolidated for a while before it broke it now the market is back to the last resistance level now is it going to break this resistance level and turn into a support level or this, this resistance level is going to keep the market going up okay that's what we need to do and how do we do that you need to check the candle pattern okay the candle pattern look out for a breakout signal okay a breakout signal then you enter with a candle pattern okay a candle pattern formation wherever if you get a bearish market trend then you enter it okay so in the four hour time frame this is generally still an uptrend okay if you check the lower lows lower low consider that still correspond a trend line can work out this way okay so if the market reverses around here then it's obeying this trend right here okay this trend line here one or two three and also this resistance level making it four so you must be very careful for boom 500 today uh, take that away and let's go to let's go to another one okay let's go to crash 500 so i was able to make some money from crash 500 yesterday too though it was acting somehow so this we have a very uh high uptrend in the four hour time frame and the market reached an area of value here okay an area of value so you can see here a lot of weeks around here of candle formation so the market came to this level break it up a bit and came down okay so this is a serious critical level here that we need to consider since the movement of the crash is meant to be upward then this level is a resistance level for it came here hit resistance then it came down here okay and it finds support around here for support then it broke it later then find another support right there okay then it started going up so this level right here we need to be careful probably this level is going to push the market downward or the market is going to break this level retest and head all the way up okay so you must be very careful now looking for a a, a trading opportunity for a quick scalp okay let's go to one hour time frame let's go to one hour time frame and let's see what the market says okay one hour time frame, i'm going to zoom in again so the one hour time frame, we're having some downtrend already okay this is not a good point to enter the market i will not advise anyone to enter the market at this point of course i'm expecting the market to go up a bit more to test this level or this level okay at most this level right here so but we never can tell what is going to happen so you have to wait patiently and watch the market play out okay with your buyers and sentiments so let's move on to boom and crash 300 so we see crash, uh, uh, crash 300 first and this crash 300 has been ranging trust me it has been very very painful yesterday i made some losses around here okay around this bottom i closes it and then it had a serious up rally okay then now it has this candle downward probably it's retesting these levels right here okay and hopefully the market can go up so there is an opportunity for a quick scalp right here okay an opportunity for a quick scalp around here okay probably can enter the market around this price action and take the profit around this stock okay because the market is still ranging but if you don't have good sniper entry for it do not try to do it okay do not try to do it let's see the bigger picture of things and let's see if there's any trading set up for that market let's check four hours okay in the four hours you can see that the market is in the consolidation area take a look at here the market is ranging around here okay we are waiting for a breakout we are waiting for a breakout okay these are the lower lows these are the lows and these are the highs right here okay so the market is ranging in between this okay so we we'll like to see what the market is telling us before we enter the market be very careful with this market okay so let's go to boom or 300 and that's the last analysis for today boom 300 okay so this is boom 300 and it has been on a downtrend okay it has been on a downtrend but right now it's an, it's an, it, the market is at an area of value okay because this is the last level the market reached and it spiked up okay this is the resistance level right here for it the resistance level so it's back at that resistance level okay and it has been ranging there if you go in on on one hour time frame you would see that the market has been ranging and ranging okay so you see so it came to that level once spiked up all the way here uh, came to the level they started having some sideways movement so be waiting 
for a breakout okay we'll be waiting for a breakout so watch for a breakout and possibly this is going to form a double button okay this is going to form a double button okay and it, when it forms a double button that is an uptrend okay you need to leave it away you need to leave the market be very careful of fake breakouts here if you form a double button and have money for spike you can trade the spikes okay so thank you guys for watching that's the analysis for now do not forget to join my telegram channel and also do not forget to create your boom and crash account using the link below thank you guys and bye for now